So uh, I have the pleasure and honor to open the closing session. <laughs> and I'm giving the floor to Veronique. Please start. Thank you. Hello, everyone. And thank you so much for staying in the room and skipping for a while the coffee break. Um, so for those who weren't here yesterday, I will just quickly introduce myself. I'm Veronique de Bord-Lazaro. I work as science attaché at the French Embassy here in the Czech Republic. Uh, and we're part of the organizers of this um, of this workshop. So the wrap-up session, the idea um, was to, first of all, try to give you um, some information about the existing mechanisms um, of support for Czech-French cooperation. So I will, I will give you some information on that, and my colleague Petr Kaiser from uh, the Czech Minister of Foreign Affairs will um, will pursue. Um, and the second part of the wrap-up session, which I guess is at least as important as that, uh, was also to discuss uh, quite briefly, but at least have some ideas what of what will come next. This is the first workshop, the first Czech-French workshop on, on AI. We're really happy that it could take place. We're very grateful to all our partners and, and um, in organizing this workshop, but we don't want it to be um, the first and last thing that we will do in AI between uh, the Czech Republic and, and France. We see a lot of potential. Of course, it's it's difficult. Uh, after two days, we've done a lot of, we've heard a lot of people talk, uh, excellent speakers. It's, it's hard um, to have already a, a full plan, a full-fledged plan to, to roll out, but um, at least we would, we would like to have some uh, ideas for development. Um, so I will also again say a huge thank you to our colleagues from, um, from all the partner uh, institutions that have made this uh, possible. Um, at the Cheveute, there are so many people, but mainly I would like to thank um, Professor Marjik for his support, Josef Shivitz, uh, who's been amazing, uh, and Eva Dolejanova for great, great help. <laughs> I think you can give her a round of applause, all of them. Um, at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Petr Kaiser, so thank you so much for all your support. Um, and also in France, uh, our colleagues from the Ministry of Higher Education Research, Stéphane Canu, and at INRIA, Isabelle Erlan, who unfortunately could not, could not be uh, with us today. Um, so I will, this is online, oh, this is on already, that's, that's great. Um, so as I said, I will try to be brief, but give you an idea of uh, what we're doing mainly at the embassy to support Czech-French cooperation. I will not keep the suspense too long on one thing, is that there is currently no Czech-French research fund as such. So this is one of the things that we will try to develop, but no suspense, there, there is no such thing for the time being. So just um, one also quick thing, usually people don't know who we are and what we do, um, so I wanted to mention who we are uh, at the French Embassy, the French stakeholders in the Czech Republic to support scientific cooperation. So uh, we're a small team at the Embassy and the French Institute in Prague um, at the Cooperation and Cultural Action Department. And our job is to be the um, contact point for researchers and um, academics, uh, both in France and the Czech Republic who have uh, bilateral projects between both countries. Um, we also do a lot of promotion of French uh, research, and our third task is to encourage the development of student mobility, so we promote higher education in France um, um, and student mobility uh, both ways. One other very important stakeholder that I wanted to mention is, because it's quite unique and it's very uncommon to have this in um, a country, in a foreign country, is the CIFRES, which is the French Research Center in Humanities and Social Sciences in Prague, so it's a real joint research unit between the CNRS and the French Ministry of European and Foreign Affairs. We, have some, we had some specialists in social sciences yesterday during the workshop. Um, the CIFRES, as I said, is quite unique. It's, it's a real research center that organizes seminars, that has researchers. It's really a platform um, that can be used also to encourage mobility of PhD students and, and, um, and master's students. Um, and they cooperate a lot with Charles University and the Czech Academy of Sciences. If you can, thank you. Um, so at the embassy, we support and all endeavors um, to, um, to encourage uh, 
cooperation between the Czech Republic and, and France, but we do have some priority topics um, that are in line with the, the embassy's action plan and also uh, the EU priorities. Um, and those topics um, are, not too surprisingly, uh, energy-related issues and the development of a low-carbon economy, um, digital sciences, that's why we are here uh, today, also cooperation in special research, especially on applications, and um, finally, uh, cooperation in security and defense. So you have here listed all the type of activities that we run. We operate a number of uh, funding programs, and those are the ones that I will um, mention tonight. Of course, the slides will be made available afterwards, so don't worry too much if you don't remember everything. Um, Eva, can I ask you to? Thank you. I'm really sorry. Um, so here you have a presentation of all our, um, our existing tools. This can really be seen as a toolbox for researchers and also PhD students. Um, as you can see, we, we're really big fans of uh, Joachim Barand because all our, all our support tools are named after him. I hope everyone knows who Joachim Barand was here. Right? You all know who he was. Maybe not. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he was a geol. <laughs> yeah, he was a geologist, and he did he, a French geologist who did most of his work in in the Czech Republic. If you go to the National Museum uh, at the, um, on the Václavské náměstí, you will see uh, big collections of, of rocks uh, that were given by him uh, to the museum. So as you can see, this is our tools are they have a progressive. Um, Nature, so we start by supporting bilateral workshops, typically that one, that's the first one. Uh, I hope there will be uh, other ones. Um, but we also do the same in chemistry, biosciences, now nano and advanced materials, and nuclear sciences. Then we have uh, mobility programs um, that support networking between uh, France and the Czech Republic. I will uh, come back to that in a moment to give you a little bit more information. And also we support PhD students uh, moving, uh, traveling to uh, uh, visiting France or uh, the Czech Republic. So if, yeah, thank you. So a quick word about our two mobility programs for researchers, uh, Baron Mobility, which is a really bilateral programs uh, between the Czech Republic and France that is supported both by um, the French Ministry of Higher Education and Research and the Moshamata here, so the Ministry of Education. Um, and the idea is to allow two research teams from the Czech Republic and France to deepen their cooperation on a specific um, project. Um, it strongly encourages young researchers to participate. These are two-year projects. They're, it's really seed, uh, seed money. Um, so you basically, we can support mobility uh, both ways. You have the amount that is dedicated, it's a small amount, uh, but it can help trigger um, new cooperation. There's a yearly call. Uh, the next deadline will be next year, uh, the June 2023, and we support about 10 to 15 projects every year between both countries. Um, the other one that I wanted to mention, the other program is called PHC Danube. Um, even though the Danube doesn't go through the Czech Republic, it's still called like that. It's a it's, um, uh, regional program that is a complement to the previous one I was, uh, I was mentioning. Um, and it's based on a partnership between several countries, so Austria, the Czech Republic, France, Serbia, Slovakia, and newly this year, Montenegro and Bulgaria. And the idea is to enable researchers to um, create a network to facilitate applications to EU funding. So it's really, again, seed funding to uh, be able to apply to bigger uh, research projects. Again, we support mobility. You need to find three to five partners in the countries that are involved. It's, these are two-year projects. And the next call should be launched in November, uh, two months from now, November 2022. Uh, I think second to last program um, is Baron Fellowships. So this is our mobility program for PhD students. So I don't know if there are still PhD students in the room, um, but it can be of, of interest to them. Uh, again, this is a partnership between the Ministry of Education in the, of the Czech Republic and the French Ministry um, of Foreign Affairs. Uh, and the idea is to um, enable um, PhD students to apply, to go and either uh, spend a short-term stay in France or the Czech Republic from one to three months, 
or to do a longer term mobility uh, in the frame of a co-tutel. So a co-tutel is when students um, uh, get two degrees from both uh, countries. And in that case, we support, um, we offer mobility grants for five months per year over three years. You have here the amount of the, of the grants. It's open to all disciplines, like all our programs. But again, uh, there will be, yeah, there is special attention given to, um, to programs in um, energy, connected to energy, environmental sciences, and, and IT. We have about 20 to 30 laureates um, every year. This year, 22, we're on the lower uh, side. And the next deadline will be February 2023. We always organized webinars to explain the program in details to the students who might be interested. And finally, I mentioned um, that we uh, support the promotion of, uh, of science. We have been running for 30 years now uh, scientific prizes at the, at the embassy. So the idea is to award the, Czech, uh, the best um, young Czech researchers. Um, it's been under, uh, it's been conducted under the, the um, patronage for now 29 years, almost 30 years next year, of Jean-Marie Laine, who's a Nobel Prize in, in chemistry. We have six categories, and there is one category in computer science, so the Joseph Fourier Prize in computer science, that we are running in partnership with uh, the company Atos. Um, so the students that participate in this uh, national competition get a financial reward, but also a scholarship to spend uh, a month in a French research lab. So if you have students, good students, you don't need to have any cooperation with friends yet. It's just ex academic excellence that matters. So I would strongly encourage them, you to, um, uh, to enroll them in the, um, in the competition. And I think I have one last slide. Uh, um, these are not embassy-run tools, um, but I wanted to mention three other opportunities that you might want to look into. The first one is that uh, in 2020, the CNRS uh, and the Czech Academy of Sciences signed a framework agreement um, to facilitate um, the support of uh, jointly-run projects. Again, this is not... Uh, that does not support research itself, but it supports mobility between France and the Czech Republic. Uh, especially to explore new fields of research. Um, so I would, uh, there's a call that is uh, open every, every year. I think that there's one that's still um, open right now, running right now. And I would uh, strongly encourage you to uh, look into that if you want to develop um, a new network. Um, INRIA uh, also offers interesting possibilities for stays in, in France. So, um, or in other countries, um, and I um, especially um, would like to mention the INRIA international chairs um, that enable uh, international researchers to go and spend some time in, in a project team at INRIA. And finally, a small program that is run by the French Ministry of Higher Education and Research. And the idea is to encourage the participation of either French researchers to uh, seminars or conferences that are held in Central Europe or Eastern Europe, and vice versa. Um, this is a yearly call. The process is pretty easy to uh, follow, so I would encourage you to, um, to try it if you're interested. Um, and the last slide, uh, thank you. It's just our contact details, so please feel free to contact us anytime. I'm also talking to the French researchers where you're, when you're coming to the Czech Republic, come and say hi. Uh, we're usually friendly and uh, we'll be happy to learn more about your, your projects. And you have also links to our website with all the information that you may need. So that will be it for me. I hope I wasn't too long. <laughs> I tried my best. Thank you very much, Thank Veronique, you. for telling us all about that. <laughs> These, these collaborations. Uh, I, I'll be next in, the, in, in this, and I'll say a little bit about uh, sort of science and sort of what, what could be, also we discussed a little bit, what could be the next steps. One possibility would be, you know, if, if to organize another workshop to maybe make, make it a little more focused on one particular topic. So we've discussed that a little bit with some of you um, already. One topic which sort of scientifically seems to be touching on almost all areas which we've seen here are these big foundational models, large scale models. They are made, made the major leeway in language already. They are very interesting from ethical standpoint because of their emergent properties. 
Uh, from the theoretical point of view, they are sort of being also analyzed. Lots of analysis uh, needs to be done on them, and they are also explored for you know being uh, doing the the mathematical proofs. I know the the group here is involved in the big science project. In in robotics, of course, uh, there hasn't been that much work yet. But I think like the memory of motion, I think is a step in that direction, which we've seen to have like a foundational model for. Uh, embodied perception and interaction. And of course, in computer vision, we saw in the talk of Cordelia where multimodal is very important in this. So one potential kind of topic which seems to be touching on almost all we've seen here uh, would be uh, these uh, sort of large scale models uh, on this, what, what I've seen. But I'm very happy to discuss with other suggestions from any of you what you, what you see interesting. Another thing which came up is uh, because a lot of people here also have collaboration with Germany. Like, wouldn't it be great to also involve some of our German colleagues uh, in this area? So one possibility would be uh, to, to look into that direction, like uh, organize on more specific topic and also invite uh, our colleagues. So I'm very happy uh, to, uh, to discuss on any of this, uh, but uh, it's been a really wonderful workshop. Thank you very much for, uh, to all of you for, for, for coming here. Uh, many of you are my current or former colleagues. It's been really great to, to, to see you here. And thank you very much again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I will pick up on the point raised by uh, Josef. Uh, actually, there has been a number of discussion uh, on the margins of uh, our workshop uh, on how we can proceed and build on what we have actually analyzed and discussed uh, during uh, the two days. And I think there is really a lot of uh, potential for that. So uh, I, we have uh, come with a proposal together with Professor Magic, with uh, uh, Monsieur Leroux, uh, uh, with Fabien Voyer and others, uh, Veronique, uh, that uh, Possibly we could uh, elaborate a kind of a very short document uh, in which we can conclude uh, some uh, or feed up uh, some of these ideas and share with you for your comments, for, for your consideration, uh, suggestions, and later on we can uh, get together uh, those who are interested uh, via online to discuss some specific topics because in my view it would be really important that we ensure the uh, 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 a process that would really uh, build on some uh, specific issues. Uh, we are ready to to uh, to work on that uh, uh, as the as the as the Minister of Foreign Affairs together, obviously, with uh, our counterparts. I sh uh, I I know that there has been already uh, thanks already, but I can't resist uh, really uh, to, uh, and uh, really thank to our partners. Uh, we have been working with uh, uh, CIRC and with uh, CTU for some time, but I have to say this is the very first workshop that we even have uh, developed our own jingle, which was very funny. I really like it. Uh, I believe that uh, all the preparations were very professional in terms of uh, technical support and so, so forth, which is to be thanked to Eva and Marcella and other people. But uh, as well, I think the, the workshop was very well prepared in terms of substance, thanks to Dr. Shivitz to Isabel and many other people. I, I really appreciate that. So once again, thank, uh, thank uh, a lot, uh, everyone uh, from the CTO. Thank you very much, uh, Veronique and others for, for that. And uh, let me really assure you that uh, uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, is really uh, ready to, to support the French-Czech collaboration in this strategic technology. Before uh, I, I just uh, finish uh, last uh, last point, I don't want to speak too much about concrete uh, uh, instruments that were uh, actually addressed by Veronique, but there is a, a call for proposal to, to be launched, uh, I believe, next month, which is or, uh, administered by uh, ANR, uh, ANR, which is uh, Agence Nationale de la Research, and this, uh, this, uh, this frame, uh, scheme is called uh, His the ERA. That the call is actually very well, uh, I would say, uh, uh, very well suitable for technologies uh, uh, related to artificial intelligence. We will provide you all the information at our website and might be shared uh, our document I referred to at the be uh, beginning. So once again, thank you very much. It's been a great pleasure to work with you.
So, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of the closing session. And uh, I am very glad that uh, we had a very nice, high quality AI workshop, Czech French workshop, which did happen after three years of preparatory activities. And I would like to thank to the people who enabled this workshop, namely to Veronique, for her persistency for three years over the pandemic period to prepare systematically the workshop. And the result is here, and I'm very glad. So thank you very much. <laughs> and I have also to say that the support from the French embassy side was all the time tremendous. So also thanks to Mr. Ambassador. Tell him thank you on our behalf. Thank you very much. The other person who was also very persistent on the Czech side was uh, Peter Kaiser from Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Uh, they played a very interesting game, forcing us to organize this workshop for three years. So, Peter, thank you very much. It's also your child. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm very glad that uh, this workshop was not only, let's say, on the good on political or administrative level. It was really a scientific workshop with many, many interesting papers, discussions, communications, because also communications belong to this. And uh, as a matter of fact, I would like to thank to Josef Schivitz from CIRC, who did a lot of work to bring people together, to bring relevant people together, and to organize the content. So the content quality was uh, cost by Josef. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the day, uh, I am bringing away from this workshop three tasks for myself. You know? First of all, I have recognized that there is no bilateral funding for Czech, French scientific cooperation. So my task number one, I am a member of the R&D and I Council. Together with Veronique and with Peter, we will try to do our best to ensure that at least some seed funding for bilateral cooperation will appear in the forthcoming two, three years. You know, financial planning is, is not for weeks, not for months, but it counts in years. But still, we will start to make some efforts in this respect. Second, you know, we have a very good relationship with DFKI. That's our really best partner who helps us since the very beginning. DFKI has a very good relationship with INRIA. So there is a time to complete this triangle. And uh, my task, and I hope Josef will help me, is to enhance the cooperation with INRIA. And the CIRC INRIA or CTU INRIA cooperation should become the backbone of cooperation in the field of AI and computer science in uh, broader meaning of this word. Uh, because without such backbones, it's difficult to organize workshops, it's difficult to organize joint projects and whatever. So the other task for me is to force Josef to enhance the INRIA CTU cooperation and to create, to complete the triangle. I think that DFKI will, DFK will be not against it. Tillman Becker is saying, confirming this, okay, and if uh, here is Wolfgang Walster, he would say the same, I'm quite sure. So, and the third task is uh, to be responsible for the fact that next workshop will follow. We cannot stop with this one because it was very successful and a lot of, let's say, ideas in which areas we could continue together appeared. Let's focus our attention just one or two and organize something similar, maybe next year, maybe 24, but it's too late. It's not, we will see. But uh, let's continue in these workshops because they are very useful for intensifying Czech-French cooperation. That means to intensify cooperation inside EU because many projects in the past, and Mr. Leroux can confirm it, just appear based on bilateral cooperation. 
So at the end, I would like to thank also to the people who helped to organize the smooth organization under the leadership of Eva Doležalová. Please, applause for her. And Marcela Kamenská. Yeah. And many other people from Project Management Office of CIRC. I would like to thank to Mr. Jiří Rishavi, who is making nice pictures to, yeah, to remember this workshop for next generations. And Maria Svatoňová, who did the website and the jingle and all these things. And I would like also to thank to our partners and sponsors who supported this event. I think uh, for the next uh, workshop, we need to continue in attracting, uh, let's say, French companies to support it and also to get some information, some results from this workshop for them. So thanks to, also to our partner like Valeo. I think uh, we are at the end now. I have no more words prepared. I have to run because there is another video on conference in two minutes. But thank you very much for attending. Thank you very much for staying with us till the end. And thanks to all of you, all the team, and all the participants for active, efficient, and useful participation. Thank you very much. <laughs>